absolutely melting. The humidity and the temperature in the UK right now is absolutely crazy. Today, I'm actually gonna be getting the security upgraded in the van to make it less prone to potentially being stolen. I've been in contact with a company over the last few weeks called Theft Shop, who are gonna come in and install um, a few pieces of equipment. Security-wise at the moment, I don't have a huge amount. All I've got is the deadlocks, which I got installed a few months ago. And now they're gonna be putting in a system today called a bear lock and also a safe under the passenger seat, I believe. So when they arrive, I'll run through, I'll ping them a load of questions just so I can get as much information for you guys. Because as I said, for any of you out there with vans that don't have security, this is definitely gonna be something that you might want to consider putting into and installing into your vans. Look how many blokes we got here today. Yeah. <laughs> I've realised we've been talking, but I haven't actually explained what the bear lock system actually does. Okay. Have we? We're, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was probably going to show you at the end, but it probably makes sense while the install's going on to just explain exactly how it works. Bear lock is, ne is, is known as mechanical transmission immobilizer. Yeah. So we are immobilizing your transmission by locking the gear shifter in reverse position in manual vehicles or in parking position in automatic vehicles. Yeah. And how it works really is really hard to explain verbally, but yeah. it's a pivot system that by mechanical pin that goes into the, into the rods that goes from the shifter into the gearbox, we prevent that that physical yeah. movement. From my basic understanding is that if somebody did try to steal the van, correct me if I'm wrong, they would only be able to steal it in reverse, one. Yeah. So, I mean, who's gonna be able to steal a van and, you know, you're not gonna be able to reverse and steal a van, are you? So, and it's just obviously gonna make it a lot more difficult for somebody to access things and yeah. drive off with it. Bearlock is a Polish, Polish product, Polish company that was founded in 1991. So there is 30 plus years of experience. Yeah. So when people saying, oh, you know, maybe we could do it different. Maybe we could do it in, in first gear, for example. There is 30 years of experience telling us by contractual agreement that it has to be in reverse. So yeah. there is reasons behind it. Yeah. Techni te technological reasons and logical reasons. Because when you see the vehicle driving through the town on reverse, something's not right. <laughs> Polish, yes, but they also operate in most of the countries in Europe, Germany, Netherlands. And just one interesting information in Netherlands, if you have a van over uh, 20,000 euros, I think in value, you have to have Bearlock installed as a compulsory oh, really? security system. Yeah. So you're bloody hell. Yeah, and it's not something similar. It have to be Bearlock yeah. product, Bearlock brands that is installed. So yeah, yeah Netherlands, uh, uh, I think they're doing the right thing because it's really good. It's, yeah. you know, it, it's really, been proven f over many many years mm -hmm. and now they benefit from it the yeah. insurance agency and a system like this is just reassuring because when i was in scotland last year for example with charlie uh, charlie lauren doing the nc500 there was loads of facebook adverts and things like that popping up um, of vans getting stolen and obviously having a system like this prevents that so it just gives you that peace of mind and reassurance that you've got a bit more security and less likelihood of your van actually getting nicked. How long does it take roughly? Uh, it, it varies between 60 minutes to about an hour and a half. Oh really? So it's not even, doesn't take that long really? Well, if you know what you're doing, it takes yeah. that. If you don't know what you're doing. How long would it take you? Four hours. <laughs> you're After you're two like, days of training. <laughs> <laughs> you're like me. Do you want to do my rear brake pads or not? No. Well, you've got some screws missing in here. In fact, both of them. In where? Uh, one in here. One in here. Right. That panel should be screwed on. Oh, there we go. I was just making your job easier for you. Oh, lovely. Thank you very much. That's, <laughs> that's very kind of you, actually. Is that some tin foil behind there? Hey. <laughs> oh, oh, that's some old Greg's bag here. <laughs> Look at that. Did oh. you put that there? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. My God. A year there later, I'm still finding bits and bobs. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look. Oh, yeah. There, right? And there's some fag butts and stuff as well in there. Look, some Rizzlers. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is never ending. 
How many of these have you installed, Martin? Oh, can't, there's numbers to be honest. With you. I've lost count after about hundreds. Yeah, hundreds really. Well, over. What's been the most difficult vehicle uh, to work with? Yeah. Um, Position-wise, it's the it's the one I'm working on at the moment. Oh, really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's the Fiat Ducato, or oh. just this van, maybe. It's the Fiat Citroëns and, per and Persians. They're not bad in general. It's just for me, it's quite awkward to get into. Yeah, you well, know, it's tight, for, quite for you, it's an advantage because it's even harder to get to if someone was to yeah, that's a good try point. Fiddle of it, so if you've got a fat thief, then good luck. Yeah. You know the thing is, if people actually saw me driving in reverse, they'd probably think that's normal. <laughs> Hon honestly, they would. <laughs> am I wrong or am I right? <laughs> well, you never know. Some people might think, you know, you fancied, you know, you fancied the ride in reverse around town, so why not? That's two. Where's the third one? <laughs> Sorry about this, Martin. <laughs> I'm gonna start squatting on him, Christ Almighty! <laughs> right, you might not. Come. You do realise I'm recently single. <laughs> I'm not, so I'm not, I want to keep it that way. All right. Can you point the camera in here? I'm trying to give you guys yeah. a close up. So <laughs> that's you tightening it. That's the shed nut. Or have you just off. snapped it? Yeah, I've just snapped it. It's that's supposed, to, it's happen, supposed yeah. to snap. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> obviously, when I'm on the road, I carry my laptop, my drone, my camera and stuff, which is obviously the main reason why I wanted to get a safe in here. But I've got my 13-inch MacBook Pro. Ooh, Andre nice. is going to get the safe. Um, so we're going to check if it fits. Um, they're pretty confident it will, but you know, it's just good to show you guys as well. What's this actually made of? Steel. Hardened steel. Hardened steel, yeah. yeah. Is this the first one ever you fitted? In, in Ducatos, yeah. Oh, in the fit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. We need to figure it out. Maybe it will go for uh, under passenger. That's why we'll, tr we'll yeah. try. I've got the keys here. Definitely my drone will fit in there. Yeah, laptop's going to fit fine. Look at that. Let's put it in. That's Look perfect. at that. Drone in there, laptop in there, passport if I needed it, phone, and the camera would also fit in there. So you've got the key, have you, if I lock this? Yes. So I can get my Andrew. stuff out. Here you go. Andrew. He's under the van, try to be gentle. Oh, Jump sorry. <laughs> Martin's under the van and here I am squatting on it. That's gonna be super handy because I don't have any space at all to put any of these valuables, passport and everything, so. That's the next thing to install after Martin's finished whatever he's doing under the van. Where that goes is uh, under the seat. You see this pipe here? Yeah. If you come round to the back of the safe, there is the two hooks that will go over it. Yeah. Yeah. And there is manufacturing fitting points that your seat bolts going in. Mm -hmm. And then these clips will go over the manufacturer fitting points and we shear them off. Yeah. So once that's sheared off, oh, really? you can't yeah. you can open that up so to undo the, the undo bolts, the bolts. Yeah. And so it's permanently fitted. And the same as your transmission immobilizer, you've got three, three keys. keys. Yeah. We can build a safe and a transmission immobilizer on the same key. Yeah. But there is a reason why we haven't done it in this case, because we believe it may be more useful because there is a bit of a secret that I can't tell on a camera, but okay. I'll tell you <laughs> yeah. behind the scenes. <laughs> That's it. Yay! That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Few technical difficulties getting that in, but the safe is in. Yes! <laughs> So these little caps go what over the bolt, which yes. basically means that no nobody can actually take the safe out. That's the point of it, yeah. And he's going to shear the uh, what do you call these nuts? Are yeah, they? yeah. Mm -hmm. Bolts, sorry. How do these nuts actually work then? Obviously, there's some sort. They're built in a certain way. This is for my own interest. Yeah, they're these built, nuts. Yeah, they're built in a certain way that you can break them. Yeah, because they basically cut here. Yeah. They're already pre-cut. Right. So then when I give it tension, yeah, it you will just snaps. come off. Yeah. It's it's simple. Really, it's simple. How would you ever get that out if you did need to? Oh, that's a secret. <laughs> that's a <laughs> company's secret. 
There we go. So now there's no getting out the safe or the seat, but why would I ever really need to do that? Or the frame anyway. If I ever needed to replace the seat, then that's not a problem I could, but I'm not going to anyway. ta -da! I will put my tools now there. All right. All tools go in. Give it a shake. No movement in that or noise rattling when you're driving. That is sturdy. I'm impressed with that. You can feed your laptop, drone. Yeah, laptop, passport, drone, passport. Even money. though people now know where my safe is, but <laughs> you know, it doesn't really matter. It's another safety device just to hide things and keep them safe. So the job is done. The bear lock installed. I'll show you exactly how that works in a second. We'll do a demonstration of that yeah. and also the safe. But a couple of things that Jarrow wanted to mention specifically, because I actually just asked him this, when you get a set of keys, you also get a code card. And I said, what's the code card for? This card is necessary when, when you lose the keys and you need more. Yeah. So all the procedure is you contact us, we check your identity that will is will and yeah. you give us those uh, numbers and letters that's a unique sequence to your lock and to your keys and mm -hmm. that way we can order more keys for you from bell lock and get yeah. them posted to to you directly okay cool we're just going to show you a demonstration of how simple and easy the bear lock system is to actually use let's say i've just pulled up somewhere i want to keep the van nice and safe i've parked up put the van into reverse i've got the key we put it in, we do a half kind of push, we turn it until you hear a click, we pull the key out, and now that is not coming out of reverse in any way, shape or form. So that is literally exactly what the bear lock system does. Don't let your friends mess with this because we had an, uh, as examples where customers called us because the shifter get damaged. Yeah. And when we arrived, what's happened they've been out drinking and the friend said let me try it and they pulled it really hard yeah. we've tried it with bear lock as part of our training and your shifter is built out of plastic our frame is a hardened steel five millimeter steel so obviously you've got steel against plastic what's going to give up first is the shifter yeah. so you don't have to test it if you want to see it inside open it up and have a look but don't let your friends mess with it yeah. because all you're risking is damaging your shifter yeah. that's it and there's no physical changes at all apart from a little key slot to obviously put the key in everything is behind neat tidy tucked away you wouldn't have a clue really that this has ever been installed well yeah hopefully that's yeah. the end result discreet and people asking about warranties so we don't interfere with any electrics in the vehicle we don't drill additional holes in the vehicle apart from that one in the plastic. Yeah. We use manufacturing fitting points. We just replace the manufacturing bolts with our shear nuts. So that's the only difference. So there is no reason why bear lock should affect your warranty. Yeah. But if you want to be sure, I, we always suggest if your vehicle is still on the warranty, we always suggest to ask your dealership. We can do it on your behalf as well, if you like but we install bear locks in brand new vehicles every single week. So mm -hmm. it's it's not something that is unusual. And like I said already, Netherlands, it's compulsory system, security system to install it if you have a valuable van. Yeah. So I think we answered a lot of questions, yeah. but if you have any, I'm always available. Speak to these guys, don't ask me. <laughs> They're the <laughs> professionals, but it's in, the van is more safe, secure got the safe in here as well under to keep all sorts of valuables safe so happy days thanks for coming down thank you very much Cheers. it was a pleasure thanks guys okay so please excuse the mess absolutely everywhere in the van it's a day of editing but i've just finished the video that you've just watched and i wanted to give you guys my honest opinion on this bear lock system and also the safe because the guys from theft stop who came down and installed it absolutely brilliant Jaro, the one that looks like an egg. Sorry, Jaro. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Andre, the brains behind everything. And then Martin, who is the main installer. They are brilliant, brilliant guys. And uh, yeah, very professional, knew exactly what they were doing and uh, answered all of the questions that I think that I had. They came last Thursday. It is now Wednesday. So it's been six days since I had the system installed and also the safe underneath and i have to say it's been absolutely brilliant 
just to have the peace of mind and an additional security mechanism and method to stop somebody from actually stealing this van. I'm sure many of you guys watching like me are very precious of your vehicles, especially the time and effort that goes into camper vans, but systems like the bear lock just give you that extra peace of mind and reassurance that, uh, you know, it's a lot harder for a thief or somebody to come and break into it, to steal it or whatever it might be. Cost-wise, it's something that I can't go into because every vehicle is different. So if you guys are interested in checking out bear lock and theft stop, or getting something like the safe installed into one of your vehicles, then I'll leave a link to theft stop in the description make sure you go and check them out because honestly it is a product that 100 percent i would recommend everybody has hence why in holland as jaro said in vehicles over 20 grand they're compulsory you have to have a bear lock system in there to stop people being able to steal them i think it's definitely something that is going to get more and more popular in the uk friends like lou and emily from camper vibe have had their bear lock in their van for months and i know for them again it's a massive peace of mind and that extra bit of reassurance um, when it comes to vans being stolen. So definitely make sure you go and check them out. I do have a discount code for you guys, which is Will10. So if you're interested in any of their security um, mechanisms, devices, or installations, as I said, check them out. Link in the description. Use the code Will10 for a 10% discount. Speak to Jaro because he is the guy that will be able to run you through everything. Awesome guys, awesome company, awesome product, and just awesome to have that peace of mind and that reassurance that your van is that little more safe thank you guys for watching next week we're going on an adventure not on my own with somebody very important in my life who none of you know even exists and we're going to meet some very very good friends of mine and just have some fun on the road in this van van life camping adventures fire pits activities you name it next week i cannot wait